Before we begin, I want to wish a happy life to the person celebrating their birthday today. Without further ado, let's dive right into the storyline. A young beautiful girl named Natsumi is a former bikini magazine model who decides to quit and utilize her popularity to establish a housekeeping company called Seren. From there, she becomes a successful CEO who is always covered by television for her achievements and lives her best life in her luxurious apartment. However, behind the success of her company, it turns out that it does not necessarily make her employees feel happy. The employees are Tanaka and Megumi. Tanaka, who works as a house cleaning service, found herself frustrated with most of the client's houses already spotless. This forces her to clean the corners of the house meticulously while being careful not to break any expensive items. On the other hand, Megumi works as a cook and shared her frustration about the low wages and company policies. Although Tanaka and Megumi have worked at the company for a long time, they have never spoken to each other until one day after work when they finally start chatting. They quickly bond after discovering that they are both widows and live alone. As they continue talking, they realize they share similar feelings about being underpaid for their jobs. Later in their conversation, they start gossiping about their boss. Tanaka reads about their boss having an affair with a business tycoon, but the news isn't widespread. On the other hand, Megumi also heard a rumor from her friend about their boss, Natsumi, not paying taxes. This revelation shocks Tanaka, who begins to connect it with Natsumi's luxurious lifestyle. Megumi's friend also suspects that Natsumi may be keeping the tax money at her home. Tanaka then suggests that they become whistleblowers, but unfortunately, it requires evidence. Megumi then comes up with a somewhat radical idea, to take the money, arguing that it's their right to and wouldn't be considered theft. And a portion of the money will be donated. After thinking it over, Tanaka finally agrees to go along with Megumi's plan. Megumi also informs her that she will invite one of her friends who has knowledge about the criminal world, even though she obtained this knowledge from crime drama films. A week later, Tanaka meets with Megumi and her friend, Edo, to discuss the details of their plan. Megumi explains that Natsumi will be on vacation in Hawaii next week, which is the perfect time to break into her house. They then continue to check the location of their boss's house to think about how to enter. They agree to make a duplicate key instead of having to climb through the pipes and break the windows. To obtain the original key, Tanaka and Megumi plan to take it from their boss's office during a training seminar at the office. After the seminar, they quickly approach Natsumi. While Megumi distracts their boss, Tanaka stealthily retrieves the key from her office. In the end, they successfully obtain the key, duplicate it, and return the original key to Natsumi's office. Finally, the day arrives. They casually enter their boss's apartment, and fortunately, the receptionist is nowhere to be seen as usual. They then enter Natsumi's room and are amazed by its luxurious and elegant interior. Without wasting time, they split up into different rooms and start searching for the hidden money. Tanaka searches in the bedroom, while Ito searches in the spacious closet room, and Megumi searches in the kitchen. After searching for a while in every corner of the rooms and even reaching the balcony, they still cannot find the money. Then, Tanaka questions the validity of their boss evading taxes. Megumi immediately calls her friend to confirm, and to their surprise, they find out that Megumi had misunderstood, her friend was referring to their client's boss, not Natsumi. They then find a memento revealing that Natsumi had been contributing to various charities. After realizing their mistake, they feel remorseful and guilty. On their way home, their guilt increases, and they agree to return to clean their boss's house to make amends for their mistake. Upon arrival, Tanaka begins to clean the corners of the room and unseen spots, while Megumi sorts through the food in the refrigerator that is about to expire, and then cooks it for their boss. Meanwhile, Eta prefers to meditate on the sofa while waiting for the others to clean. After cleaning for a while and cooking the food, they realize that Natsumi would find it strange if there were suddenly food in her refrigerator. Eventually, they decide to eat the food themselves. They appear so delighted, as if eating at their own home. After eating, they clean the dishes, and suddenly, Eto hears something from the closet room. As Eto goes to check, she is shocked to find a man hiding behind the clothes. His name is Shige Matsu, a delivery man burdened with many debts. He often delivers packages to Natsumi's apartment and, realizing its inadequate security, he plans to rob Natsumi's apartment. Shige Matsu carries out his plan and briefly encounters Tanaka and the others as they leave Natsumi's apartment. Shige Matsu climbs the pipes and enters through the balcony that Tanaka forgot to lock. He then begins to search for valuable items, but suddenly Tanaka and the others return to Natsumi's apartment. He is surprised to see them cleaning and one of them doing yoga. Shige Matsu becomes even more confused when he sees the meeting. When Shige Matsu tries to hide, he accidentally knocks over some figurines, which is heard by Edo. At that moment, Shige Matsu is found hiding in the closet. Edo successfully subdues Shige Matsu with pepper spray, then ties him up and seals his mouth with duct tape. They are confused about what to do with Shige Matsu because if they report him to the police, they will also be arrested for trespassing into someone's apartment. 
They also cannot bear to leave Shigematsu tied up and hungry for a week, which could lead to his death. They come up with the idea to wrap him in a cardboard box and dispose of Shigematsu in a place where he can be easily found. When Megumi goes to the first floor to find a cardboard box, Edo has a conversation with Tanaka where she shares that she is also a widow whose husband cheated on her with a younger girl. Back to Megumi, when she is in the lobby, to her surprise, she sees Natsumi's presence who was initially expected to return in the next week. Megumi then starts running back to warn the others, which makes them panic and almost leaves Shigemaru behind. They then decide to hide Shigemaru in the kitchen cabinet and continue to gather their belongings, turn off the lights, and hide in different rooms. Edo hides under the bed, Tanaka in the office, and Megumi in the closet room. They all overhear Natsumi, who is on the phone, revealing that the day she planned to go to Hawaii was different from what Tanaka initially thought. When Natsumi goes to the toilet, they all gather, realizing their mistake, and return to hiding when Natsumi comes out from the toilet and gets a drink in the kitchen, then enjoys her time watching TV. After some time, when Natsumi falls asleep, Tanaka and the others text each other to make a plan. Since Natsumi leaves for Hawaii in two days, they are forced to wait until Natsumi leaves the house, as they cannot leave Shigematsu behind. So, they agree to wait until the next day. The following morning, they wake up startled to hear Natsumi screaming upon finding Shigematsu tied up inside the cabinet. She removes the duct tape from his mouth, and Shigematsu explains that he is a victim and asks Natsumi to untie him. Seeing Shigematsu's condition, Natsumi appears to believe him, and as she attempts to untie him, Tanaka panics and bravely emerges, using a head covering to prevent Natsumi from releasing Shigematsu. Natsumi, becoming increasingly panicked by the unexpected situation, suddenly recognizes Tanaka's voice. Finally, Tanaka removes her head covering and intends to explain everything. She then tapes Shigematsu's mouth shut again. Still fearful, Natsumi demands an explanation of what is happening in her home. Tanaka explains that Shigematsu is a thief who broke in, and she and the others caught him. Natsumi is confused about who the others are, and finally Megumi appears. Eventually, Tanaka and Megumi explain that they heard false rumors about Natsumi evading taxes, so they wanted to become whistleblowers and find evidence, but they were wrong. This is confirmed by Natsumi, who states that the news is untrue. Megumi continues to explain how they broke in using a duplicate key. They apologize and give the key to Natsumi. Tanaka further explains that when they realized their suspicions were incorrect, they felt remorseful and redeemed themselves by cleaning Natsumi's house. Natsumi checks and confirms that they have indeed cleaned it and also disposed of the food about to expire in the fridge. And when they were cleaning, they found Shigematsu who had broken into the house, and that was when Natsumi returned home. And with that reason, they beg Natsumi to forgive them and not report it to the police. After careful consideration, Natsumi finally agrees, but on the condition that they must continue to work for her and that their wages will be raised. Afterwards, Natsumi interrogates Shigematsu about his motive for breaking into her house. Shigematsu then tells her about how he used to have a company that went bankrupt, which led him to accumulate debt and work as a delivery man to survive. Natsumi seems to have sympathy for him, and when he asks Natsumi for forgiveness, Tanaka and Megumi object because Shigematsu is a thief who should be reported to the police. However, to their surprise, Natsumi, who has a big heart, forgives Shigematsu on the condition that he will not repeat his actions. Tanaka and Megumi are shocked by Natsumi's kindness, realizing they have been unfairly judgmental towards her all this time. After all the chaos, they bid farewell to go home while regretting their actions. While in the lobby, they suddenly realize that Edo is missing, and when they call her, she doesn't answer. So, Tanaka and Megumi decide to go back, while Shigematsu also wants to join because he needs to use the toilet. Meanwhile, as Natsumi feels relieved that everything is over, she is then startled by Edo with an angry face while holding a picture. We then have a flashback where Edo files for divorce from her husband who cheated on her with a younger businesswoman. Edo chooses not to seek compensation and opts not to know the appearance of the girl for the sake of her mental health. But now, she knows that the girl who stole her husband is Natsumi. Edo then confronts Natsumi about what she had done, and when Kana A tries to attack Natsumi with scissors, suddenly a man appears out of nowhere, restraining Edo and telling Natsumi to leave. His name is Mori, who is none other than the receptionist. Mori started working six months ago, and one day he realized that the former bikini magazine model he had always idolized and collected all her magazines stayed in this building. He tries to suppress his desires that begin to tempt him every time he sees Natsumi, but one day he lost control. When he found out Natsumi was going to Hawaii, he entered Natsumi's apartment, headed to her bedroom, and breathed in the air of Natsumi's room to indulge his perverse desires. Upon seeing himself in the mirror, he realizes his wrongdoing and decides to leave. As he is about to open the door, Tanaka and the others arrive at Natsumi's apartment. Mori is confused about who they are. He is almost caught hiding several times, but fortunately, he manages to escape and decides to hide under the bed. 
And when Tanaka and the others leave, Mori sneaks out to leave as well, but unfortunately, at that moment, Shigematsu manages to climb the balcony, and Mori decides to hide inside the sofa. He realizes that Shigematsu is a thief. Shortly after, Tanaka and the others return, which confuses Mori even more about what is happening. He can only peek at Tanaka cleaning and also witnesses Shigematsu being tied up by Tanaka and the others. Until the next day, he wakes up startled when Tanaka is caught sneaking by Natsumi. Afterwards, when Eno is threatening Natsumi with scissors, despite being torn about revealing his hiding place, Mori finally emerges from the sofa and helps Natsumi. Amidst the chaos, Tanaka and others finally return and try to calm down Eno, who is going crazy. Tanaka and Megumi inform Natsumi that they are the ones who brought Eto, and Eto was the one who managed to capture Shigematsu, so they hope Natsumi will also forgive her. After Eto releases her anger and begins to calm down, Natsumi immediately forgives her. Now it's Mori's turn to explain what he was doing in Natsumi's apartment. After explaining his perverted behavior, everyone is disgusted by it and suggests that Natsumi should report such behavior to the police. However, Mori defends himself, stating that if he hadn't restrained Kane, Natsumi would have been in danger. They argue about the morality of each other's behavior, even the thief Shigematsu tells Mori that his behavior is unacceptable and should be reported to the police. But once again, everyone is shocked when Natsumi forgives Mori as well. Mori is very grateful and promises not to repeat his actions. Shigematsu then asks for permission to use the bathroom. Afterward, they all leave Natsumi's apartment. After everyone leaves, it is finally revealed that the reason why Natsumi didn't report all of them to the police is because she did indeed evade taxes and was relieved because the money she had hidden was not found by them. If Natsumi were to report them to the police, the police would certainly interrogate Tanaka and the others, which could lead to a police search of Natsumi's house, exposing her criminal actions. Tanaka and the others finally part ways with Shigematsu and Mori. When everything seems over, suddenly Mori feels guilty and wants to turn himself into the police for his disgusting actions. However, of course, Shigematsu stops him because that would also lead to his own arrest for attempting theft. As he tries to stop Mori, suddenly a pig-shaped figurine from Natsumi's room falls from his pocket. It turns out Shigematsu realized something while in Natsumi's apartment. When he was caught for knocking over the figurine, initially he didn't realize it, but when he was tied up and learned the reason Tanaka and the other sneaked in to look for evidence of money, Shigematsu instantly realized that the money they were searching for had been converted into gold and camouflaged as figurines because the figurines were very heavy. That's why he returned with Tanaka and Megumi and then asked to use the toilet, which turned out to be to retrieve the figurine. After noticing Shigematsu's suspicious behavior, Mori suspects that the figurine was taken from Natsumi's room. Shigematsu panics and flees. After a while, Tanaka and the others hear Shigematsu being chased, and eventually, they all work together to capture Shigematsu and ask passers-by to call the police. After that, Tanaka is interrogated, and Natsumi's worst fear finally comes true. The police come to Natsumi's house and start searching for evidence. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Edo's ex-husband, who is also her boyfriend, turns out to be involved in the tax evasion scheme, and they are both arrested. Tanaka and the others now become friends, and each of their lives starts to become lively again. The end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting movie recaps. See you in the next video.